I'm fed up with changes. Come pick me up, cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. What's up, guys? So today I'm in a very nice country park. This is a nice bike track. Today I have this electric scooter. This is the iEasyWay EZ8. It's a waterproof foldable electric scooter and I'm really excited to try this out. This comes in at $349, but I have a $15 discount code for you guys if you do want to check this out. All the information is in the description down below. Let's go ahead and run through some of the key specifications and the capabilities of this electric scooter. And then let's go for a little test drive. So some of the key specifications that you'll always look out for when you buy an electric scooter is battery life, range, and the speed. Now this one has up to 15 miles of range. Obviously that depends on the weight and size that you put and the speed that you travel at. But I think that's more than enough for basically using it, the electric scooter for whatever purpose you'd like to, especially if you use it in your local area or just using it for your commutes. I think that's great. It maxes out at a speed at 20 kilometers per hour, or that's roughly around 12 and a half miles per hour on the fastest mode, which is the sport mode. And I'll cover a little bit about the modes in a second. Now it charges fully in three to four hours. So you can just leave it on charge at home and the next day you'll be ready to go. So I think that's pretty on standard with a lot of the key and the premium electric scooters out there, which I think is great. So now let's take a little bit more of a closer look at the scooter itself. So one of the key things here is that this is a 350 watt motor and it has both front and rear shock absorbers and disc brakes. In terms of the wheels themselves, they are eight and a half inch solid non-slip rubber tires which makes it great for all types of weather conditions. So you can use this in rain, mud, and even on stones, which is a little bit like what this flooring is like right now. So it performs very well on this, not just flat surfaces like pavements and roads. Now I will be testing this out, but the key thing that I also like about it, which I've seen not on a lot of many scooters these days, is that it's waterproof. So if you do ride this in the rain or you go over some puddles, it should still perform absolutely fine. Now in terms of the weight capacity, the max load on this is 120 kilograms. So pretty much, anyone of any type of weight will be able to use this perfectly fine. And the scooter itself weighs 14 kilograms. So if you wanna take this on your commute, you fold it up, it wouldn't be too much of a headache. It's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest, but it's fairly easy to take with you, especially if you wanted to carry it onto your commute when you're getting to and from work. So now that I've given you a run through of all of the key specifications, let me show you basically how to fold this and how that looks and see how heavy it actually is. So to fold it, you just need to make sure that this clip here on the handlebar connects with the little clip and the rubber grip there at the bottom on the back wheel. So that's where I'll be connecting that to. Now to fold it from the front, you need to put a little bit of pressure by pushing this little red button in, pulling that out like so, and then it's ready to fold. So now all you do, if you come to the back, you try to align that clip that I mentioned, you push it down and it will align into that rubber grip it's locked into place and then you can just carry it like so. It's 14 kilograms like I mentioned, but for most people, it should be very easy to carry. If it is a bit too heavy, you can literally lift it up with the handlebars and you can just use the front wheel to take it very easily like this as well. So multiple different ways to carry it. Let me go ahead and open this up. You just push that down, lift it back up, lock it into place and that's it, you're ready to ride. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the handle. So you have the bell here. You have the disc brake. This is the throttle. The red one here is the electronic brake. And then you also have the reflective light there for oncoming car headlights to visibly see you a bit better. This is the screen that is the digital display. So you have a power on button. All you have to do is just hold this down and you'll see it will start turning on. So there you have your speed in kilometers per hour. D is the normal speed mode. If I double press, it goes into S, which is the sport mode, and that will max out at the 20 kilometers per hour speed limit. And then Eco, this is which will give you the longest range, but the slowest speed at the same time. If you wanted to keep track of the battery life, you have some bars there at the bottom. This is basically telling me, you know, I've charged this fully, 
it's got five bars which is the full battery life so i still have a lot of range on it so as this slowly starts to come down that will give you an indication of when you should just maybe consider charging this again if i just hit the button once this will basically turn on the front headlights as you can see it's reflecting there on my hand and if i press it one more time it just turns off if i press the disc brake if you take a look at the rear lights you'll notice that they come on and start flashing while i'm holding the disc brake on the handlebar down like so so if you're using this or you use the electronic brake so i'm pressing the red button now the lights will come on at the back as well so plenty of security measures you also have here on the bars some reflective strips so no matter which angle you're riding at on the pavements or the roads someone will always be able to see you because the lights will be reflected back into them using these strips and they're also there on the front of the scooter there so we've got a couple in addition to the front led lights. so from a security point of view you're pretty much covered so now that covers pretty much everything i'm going to put this onto the normal drive mode and then give you a ride and performance test on this very slight gravel bike trail and go around this little park and let's see how it performs so one thing i forgot to mention is that this is perfectly capable to go over bumps because of the very thick tires that it has so there's a lot of bumps in this as well and i'll showcase to you guys that it will still be very stable while i'm driving like so pretty solid pretty fast and then now if i break that was the manual disc brake and you guys can see the lights came on and i was able to brake in no time let me go ahead and quickly spin around the track i'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town i've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try So that was a really great and smooth ride. I felt like I wasn't going to fall off at any point. There was obstacles in the way, there was bumps, and it really performed very well. So I can see myself using this, especially if I take it to the parks like this. If you are going to use it on the roads and pavements, just make sure you do have your safety equipment on as well, like a helmet. And in terms of like the twists and turns, I can easily get round very sharp corners and I was able to do that without any hesitation. All right guys, so that's it. I'm super impressed with this. It's two big thumbs up from me. And if you are in the market to look for an electric scooter, then do check out the EZ8. It's very premium, but it's also very affordable as well. And what better way than to have a bit more of a discount than using my discount code that you can find in the description. Check it out. All of the link and the information on this electric scooter is there. If you did like this video and you do like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.